Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. You've not just been watching this documentary, you know, John Lydon, a.k.a. Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols. He was talking about his biography. You know, and how parts of it were difficult to write because certain aspects of his childhood were quite traumatising one way or another. And he gives a lot of money away to children's charities. You know, and he doesn't he does it for his own self worth. He does it because it makes him feel better and he thinks these charities are extremely important. He doesn't make a great big song and dance about it like some I can mention. Well Bono springs to mind. <laughs> I mean I never did like you too anyway. You know? What do I think of Bono? I think he's a self-righteous, egotistical, libtard, lefty fucking prick. I never did like um, many Irish bands, Irish artists. You know, and that's not me being biased or anything. It's just I thought a lot of them were boring. I mean, I love Finn Lizzy, Rory Gallagher, Gary Moore. No, they're legends, you know what I mean? But a lot of them, like I say, I just thought they were a bit boring. And, um, you know, there could be a hurricane. There could be a f great big flood, an earthquake, any kind of disaster. Celebrity could have died. Royalty could have kicked the bucket. He'll be there. He'll be there. Good old Bono. To inflate his massive ego even more. Look at me, I'm so wonderful. I'm giving more money away like never before. Free concerts, benefit concerts. He's not doing it. He doesn't give a shit about these fucking people. He's doing it for himself. A lot of them do. Look at me, I'm important. I want the whole universe to know that I care. And he doesn't. I mean, yeah. Bob Geldof, he's another one. He's another one. I'll never listen to anything by him again. I'll burn all my Boomtown Rats albums anyhow. I mean, I will never forgive him for what he did on the River Thames. His antics with his megaphone shouting at the fishermen because he wanted to remain in the EU. All these bemoaners are the fucking same. Moan, 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 you're all racist, you're all bloody Nazis, yeah, right, bollocks. I mean, he's worth a hundred and odd million, right? I mean, he's making a complete dickhead of himself in front of the cameras during Live Aid. You know, he's sitting there, you know, absolutely fucking loaded, and he's telling the working class public to put their hands in the pocket. Don't go down the pub. Put your hands in your pocket for live aid. There's starving kids over there in Africa. All right, then. You offload some of your cash and help them out. <laughs> Leave it to us lot instead. Don't forget your roots. Don't forget your roots. You know, look at me. I'm important. Oh, live aid. I'm behind it. I start it off. I'm legendary because of live aid. You know what? He was just a figurehead for Live Aid. I'll tell you who organised all that event. Fucking mid -Jewer. He did all the real legwork. Bob Geldof just took the credit. And where was mid -Jewer? I mean, I don't like the man very much, but... He wasn't throwing it down your fucking throats, was he? He wasn't even there. And you got Lily Allen. She only went to the Calais jungle to inflate her already massive ego even bigger. But it backfired. She wanted to make a name for herself. <laughs> oh, she did. She did make a name for herself, all right. A bad name for herself all over Twitter and everywhere else. You know, crying on national telly. <laughs> Apologising on behalf. Of Britain for bombing the Middle East. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit about them people. No way, man. 
No fucking way. Oh yeah, the record sales plummeted since then. They've all gone down the fucking bog. Yeah, fuck her. And you got Phil Collins. He's always there, isn't he? In the event of tragedy. But I'm not going to say too much about him because he's a fantastic drummer and a great songwriter. He's been around for a very, very long time. You know, he was on Genesis' very first album. Well, he's always been with Genesis. 1968. The credits. Drums and percussion, Philip Collins. That was on Genesis' first album. So, you know. And then he joined Brand X for a couple of albums during the late 70s. <sighs> I mean... Elton John, there's another one. Elton fucking John. You know, when the Princess of Wales died. Oh, he was there! He was there! Oh, a new song. Candle in the Wind. Oh, but it wasn't a new song. He wrote that song in 1973, and it was originally about Marilyn Monroe. He just tweaked the lyrics a little bit. <laughs> But all these fucktards didn't realise that, did they? They thought it was a brand new song by Elton John. And he hates criticism. Oh, yeah. You say he's a crap pianist. He'll hunt you down and have you assassinated, he will. He might be a good penis, but he's a crap pianist. And a fucking toupee on his head. Yeah, look at me, I'm brilliant, I'm brilliant. I care about the whole world, I care about the environment. They're stinging all, he's another one. Benefit concerts, money this charity, money that charity. Save the rainforest. Save it, you fucking self. You're absolutely... He's got that much money, it's coming out of every other orifice in his fucking body, isn't it? Fucking sting. Oh, yeah, and then there's... Jimmy Savile. And we all know what an evil, dirty bastard he was. Yeah, yeah, he used to blackmail fucking children's hospitals. If they tried grass him up for his antics, he'll withdraw the funds. Oh, you're not getting it then. Nip, 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 nip. Hey, honestly, these people really piss me off. They don't do it. They don't believe in all this crap. They don't give a fuck how shit the world ends up as long as they're sitting happy in the ivory towers. They're only doing all this to make themselves look good and, and nice and, and lovely and, and, you know, they're self-absorbed in themselves. That's what they do it for. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. People like John Lydon's got the right idea. None of these do. None of them. They should all fucking crawl back down the bastard sewer where they belong.